Hey there, it's Sarah from Searchcraft. Do you relate to any of these? Your website is a big disorganized mess. You're not ranking high and not getting much traffic. You have a list of really good keywords but you're not sure what to do with them or where to even start. If you do, then you need to do some keyword mapping. In this video, I'll go over what keyword mapping is, why it's important, how to find keywords and how to do keyword mapping using Searchcraft's planner. So what is keyword mapping? Keyword mapping is the act of assigning a specific keyword to a page. Keyword mapping helps you in three ways. First, it improves your site structure to make it easier for Google to crawl and index your pages. Second, it optimizes your internal links, which helps users navigate your website to look for information easily. And third, it establishes your website as a topical authority, as you cover topics in depth. Overall, keyword mapping helps you rank higher and drive more traffic to your site. Before keyword mapping, you first need good keywords. If you're starting from scratch, you can do a keyword research for your target keyword using the keyword research tool. For demo purposes, let's pretend like we're the owner of a skincare business specializing in facial moisturizers. So let's do a keyword research for best moisturizer. To make it easier, you can sort by the opportunity score, then select and save your desired keywords in a project. Alternatively, if you already have a list of keywords, you can plug them all in the bulk keyword research and save them in a project. Once you've got the keywords down, you can finally start keyword mapping. To do keyword mapping, first go to the planner and open your project. Here, you'll see the full list of your saved keywords along with their metrics. You want to go to the keyword mapper. Now, you can start mapping by dragging keywords from the left side here onto the mapping board. Do note that there's many ways you can do keyword mapping and how I'm about to do it is just one way. So first, I'll start with the main keyword, then trickle down to my topic clusters. For this website, I'm going to start with three topic clusters. First is for skin types. Second is for best moisturizer ingredients. And third is for how to use moisturizer. And then, I'm going to add relevant keyword cards under each topic cluster to build my content silos. Once we're done with the keywords, we can just hide the left panel here. And here's what my map looks like. Next, we can improve the map with data-driven decisions. The great thing about the planner is that you can see the keyword metrics for each keyword. The user intent search volume, keyword difficulty, and opportunity score. Using this data helps you make more informed decisions about your content strategy. You also have the data overview here which shows the cumulative metrics of the keywords on the board. So from the keywords we've mapped out so far, this is the monthly search volume, the average keyword difficulty, and the opportunity score. Now let's go over adding more details into the map. First is adding descriptions to your keyword cards, whether it be type of page, ranking, author, date, and more. So click here and click on add description. For example, I'm going to write this blog post myself, so I'll put my name here. Next, you can draw the relationship between the keyword cards using arrows and labels. Each keyword card has four nodes of which you can use to connect with other cards nodes. For example, since this is the pillar page for this topic cluster, I want to direct traffic from the topic clusters to this page. So I'll add arrows and labels from my topic clusters to the pillar page like this. There are also additional features you can use on the toolbar right here. Click on this to undo and this to redo. Click on this to add a custom text card. You can use it for anything, perhaps a note like so. This changes your connector arrow's direction. Click on an arrow and choose the direction you want. This cursor icon works like an edit or view only toggle of the keyword map. So if I toggle it, the keyword map turns into a view only version where I can no longer edit anything. This shows or hides the keyword metrics. You can use it for when you want a cleaner, simpler view of your map. This toggles the mapping board's grid. Clicking on this downloads your map as an image in PNG which you can then share with your team. This is the delete button. You can clear the mapping board or delete specific things. 
To delete multiple things, you can select them using your mouse like this and click on Delete Selected. The final result of our keyword map looks something like this. But that's not the end of it. Keyword maps can be really handy for improving your SEO and rankings in several ways. Let's go over some of them. First, your keyword map can be really useful for competitor analysis and filling in topic gaps. You can reverse engineer your competitors' websites to study their topic clusters and internal linking strategy. Here's an example of how I do it. First, I'll do a Google search for my target keyword and open one of the top ranking pages. Then, I'll first look at how they're grouping their content, compare it with my own topic clusters, and fill in any topic gaps accordingly. Next, I'll analyze how they do their internal linking in their content. I'll use an app that scrapes all of the internal links in this page for me, then extract the target keywords, like so. Then, I'll deconstruct their website by mapping their topic clusters and internal links, resulting in a keyword map that looks like this. By doing all this, I can discover and apply the same successful strategies and content ideas to my own keyword map. You can also use a keyword map to identify opportunities for relevant internal links. Like right here, these two pages are pretty relevant, so I can add an internal link here. The awesome thing about the planner is that it's really flexible, so you can use it however you like. Instead of mapping it like I did, you can do it this way. Or this way. You can also use it to plan your content structure, like this. The planner is also seamlessly connected to the content writer. Simply click Start Writing here and it'll take you to the content writer where you can start generating or writing content. It also saves a document on your keyword map so you can easily continue writing where you left off. And so that's how you use the planner to map your keywords and build your content silos. Hope this was helpful and make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching!